All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan it dan dan it dan it dan Dean Bodie Show. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Dean Bodie Show. DeanBodie.com is the website. We got the links on there. I want to get you over to the podcast. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And the other link is on there to get you over to the YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show. YouTube channel. How's everybody doing? 800 878 Bodie Hotline Fun Line. Let's get this show started off on the right foot. Who's the good girl? Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBody.com. 800-878-9698. Bodie Hotline Fun Line. Call the Bodie Line. Say something nice to Bodie. She's waiting for you. We're going to sing your zippity doo dah song with you. I promise you. Just put it on there and we'll do it. Kind of like, uh, I don't know. Two, four, six, eight, zippy dippy da. One, two, three, four, fa la 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 la. Hey, something like that. Just to cheer you up. It cleans the cobwebs out of the brain. It recycles the you know what's in your upstairs in your noggin it takes all the yucky stuff flushes it down and puts in new good stuff so you can move on throughout your day that's what a zippity doo song does Bodie's the greatest Bodie's getting stronger by the day she's going through a shoulder sprain strain who knew listen dogs step on things wrong they uh, have accidents as you know and ligaments and muscles just like we have and that's just kind of how it goes So, you know, it could be six weeks or so before a soft tissue injury heals, as they say. The hard part about the dog is you got to get them to relax. You don't want them running around. They get excited from other dogs and they see rabbits outside and they see squirrels flying across the grass. They see birds chirping up in the trees and other kinds of little creepy crawlies running around, walking around distracting them so they get excited and they keep aggravating an already aggravated situation. You know how that goes, but she's doing the best that she can. I'm keeping an eye on her. The place that we're in now compared to the old place, we have a little parcel in the back. We got a little fence area in the back. So Bodie can go and chill out in her own little spot and have her little space. She's enjoying it so much, it's getting me all choked up just thinking about it. But anyway, I hope you're doing well out there. A lot of things going on in the world right now. And, uh, you know, we're just doing our thing over here. And, you know, ordering Uber Eats from time to time. And drivers not being able to find your apartment. And leaving the food, even with the picture in it. Okay, listen. The nerve it takes to drop off a sack of food in the wrong apartment, take a picture of it, act like it was, it arrived okay, and everything is all hunky-dory, and leave it in the wrong place, and you don't even get your food. It could be three blocks away for all you know. Example, I'm walking around the other day, and this is after I didn't receive my food one time, okay? And two days later, I walk around the other building. This is when I was in my old apartment. And I see this brown bag sitting out front of another apartment. And I'm like, okay. I just realized that I saw that same brown bag there yesterday when I was walking Bodie around the neighborhood, as we do. And I said, just for fun... Let's go look at the brown bag, and I see the receipt on there. Guess whose food it was two days later? Oh, yeah, it was mine. Never got it. Five guys, lettuce wrap cheeseburgers, and Bodie and I were going to have a little cheeseburger feast and share some fun stuff together, and uh, it got spoiled because the driver can't find their way around. Not good. Look, if I was delivering, let's say, oh, I don't know, medical supplies or I had somebody's, you know, somebody who uh, is an organ donor and I got my little cooler and I'm working for this medical company and I got to bring this organ to the right place and I drop it off a few blocks down and give it to the wrong person, I'm going to get fired. These guys are just coming here getting the Uber thing going, getting the Lyft thing going, delivering stuff. They don't know where they're going, and they're blaming it on the GPS. Not good, especially when you spend a lot of money uh, on this food. The good news is they're usually good about the refunds. So far with me, they have been. 
And uh, but still, it's still a headache. You got to do the reorder. Sometimes you might be doing it later in the day and they're closing down and you miss the window of your favorite places. So you got to pick something else and you don't your choices are less. And I don't know, man, I got to start cooking again. I'm in the new place. It's almost like I don't want to mess up the new stove. It's almost like I don't want to, you know, get schmutz all over the place when everything's nice and new and clean and the appliances are new. But it's interesting. I don't know how you guys work, but once I crack the mold, as they say, or once I break the ice or once I, you know, do one thing, it's kind of like when you get a new pair of sneakers, right? You don't want to... You don't want to wear them outside. You don't want to nick them. You don't want to get any dirt on them. You don't want to step on the grass and get something on them. But once you do, it's game on. Then it's like they're not new anymore. And you just do your thing and wipe them and clean them the best you can. But they're never as good as when you first got them. Same with the stove. Same with the type of the stove area where you're cooking. Once you make a first schmutz, the rest of the schmutzes are a lot easier. So look. That's the Uber story. That's what's going on with that. And uh, listen, like I said, the move is going good. Everything's cool. We're finally dialed in over here at the new place. And, you know, hey, until we get to our dream home, uh, I don't know, over the crashing waves of uh, somewhere in who knows where, you know, island, this is going to be good. This is a nice, what I call a nice sideways move. Hey. Brighten things up a little bit, turn the page on a new chapter, and get moving down the road. So, you know, we're doing our thing. Everything's cool over here, and uh, we're doing our show, and we're glad you're around and all of that stuff. So anyways, as we're moving over here into the new area, we have a back patio. Like I was just mentioning, it has the yard in the back and a little fenced area. And the back gate, we can go out the back. Nobody's behind me. Nobody's to the left of me. Nobody's on top of me like the old place. And there's a closet in the back patio. And it's kind of a large closet, which is kind of cool. So I decided to, I had a my pillow guy, my pillow mattress topper. If you've never tried it, he nails everything. He's got great doggy beds. He's got good sheets. He's got nice uh, doggy blankets, by the way. And he's got nice travel pillows, by the way. He's even got body pillows. I haven't tried the slippers yet. And now he's getting into coffee. He's calling it my coffee. Okay, this whole branding of the my this and the my that, you got to admit, is pretty clever. Let's think about it for a second. So what do you, what do you, what kind of coffee you got there? I don't know, I'm drinking my coffee. What do you mean your coffee? Yeah, that's what it's called. I got it from my coffee guy. Oh, my coffee guy, but it still sounds like it's my coffee. I love it. <laughs> it's my pillow. I'm drinking my cup of coffee on my pillow and uh, I'm getting tucked in under my sheets and all of this other stuff with the word my in it. It's kind of cool. But so far, the stuff I've gotten from the My Pillow guy has been dialed in pretty nice. The pillows, love them. And uh, I don't know, man. I got a new mattress in this new place, but I'm thinking about getting the My Pillow guy mattress topper anyway on top of the new mattress just to give it a little extra cushy wushy and just to go into the night night and slumber even better. Right? So. Whatever it takes to get the right amount of REM sleep, I'm telling you, getting proper rest is key to keeping your immune system strong. So listen, Bodie's the best girl in the world. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. Who's the good girl? 800-878-9698, Bodie Hotline, Fun Line. Call the Bodie line. Say something nice to Bodie. Please, whatever you need. Oh, by the way, you can text and you can call and you can text and call the hotline, fun line, Bodie line anytime you want. And uh, we'll say your name, where you're from. We'll make it a feature on the show as we're doing this new set. We're trying to get the lighting dialed in. We're doing our thing. And, you know, we're just going to feel it out until we figure it out. 
Little by little. In the meantime, let's have some fun. Not everything has to be perfect. We love the rough edges over here, Dean Bodie, and that's what this is all about. Look at the new pop filter we got on this puppy today. It's red. The last one was black. Don't tell me we're not customizing the show. So anyways, that being said, Bodie is the greatest, and she's healing stronger by the day, even with the allergies and the sprain strain. It's just going to take some time, and this is the kind of stuff you got to go through, and we go through things together. I'm grinding out my thing, my hernia operation. I got to get scheduled soon down the road. Once she's stable, I'll go do my thing, and we'll get through that also. In the meantime, light workouts, being smart about it, keeping the weight down, keeping the diet and the nutrition dialed in, so you go into the surgery healthy, the recovery's better. Makes sense, right? Keeping the gut health and the gut biome healthy with the prebiotic, the postbiotic, the probiotic. How many biotics do we need for the gut health? We got the prebiotic right now. And we got, we got probiotics also. And we got postbiotics. It's getting a little out of control. And someone's going to come up with something new with the pre-pre-prebiotic to get ready for the pre. So when the pre hits, the post and the probiotic works together and you become one flowing biotic. Okay? That's the whole thing. That's what you, that's, that's the goal in life, to become one nice big biotic so you're healthier than anybody. And until you get there, the world's not going to be a happy place. Until you get to where the world is one big, nice, flowing biotic, okay, then we'll have balance in the world. Then we're going to have world peace. Until that happens, keep taking your pre post probiotics until we get there. Everybody join in and hold hands and take, take all your biotics so we can come together as one big giant biotic one of these days. That's all I'm saying. So look, I don't care what Dr. Fettuccini says or Nancy Pastrami. It doesn't really matter because we take care of ourselves over here. The most powerful drug in the world, as they say, begins with an F, ends with a D. It's called food. The supplements are there to supplement the food, not to take the place of, but you want good whole food vitamins. You want chelated minerals so your body absorbs it at the cellular level. Healthy cells, healthy you. That's what's going on. It's not what you are, what you eat. It's you are with what you do with the food that you eat. You have to absorb what you're taking. If you're taking a bunch of stuff and your body's not using it at the cellular level, it's a stress on the body. So look for the whole food vitamins so your body doesn't deal with fractions of things and wreaking havoc on the system. Hey, little nutritional lesson from the Dean Bodie show today. I hope it helps. And, you know, do the best you can with that. At least go for daily walks a day. Bodhi gets me out there moving around. Even with her sore shoulder, she's doing her thing. I'm so proud of her. I can't even, I can't even tell you how proud of her I am. She touches my heart so much. I worry about her so much. Now, whatever's going on with her, I just want to make the, sure that she's comfortable and she's okay. And she got the shampoo yesterday from the groomer, special hypoallergenic shampoo in the cream rinse and all that stuff and clip the nails and buff down the pads, which he wasn't doing before. Man, we missed Gia. Gia that we had for years went into retirement. So we have somebody new. But when Gia got done, Bodie's paw pads that get rough from walking around in the cement and everything, and it's hot on the, on the ground. For when you don't understand when the when the cement when the when the temperature outside let's say I don't know out here it gets in the triple digits but when you put your foot on the cement you have to add fifty did you know that so when they're puppies you got to keep them off the hot cement because they can burn their feet so over time they get calluses and all but still with the roughness and all. You want it to be kind of buffed. And Gia used to buff them down a little bit and get some of the roughness off. And I used to know the difference because when I wipe her feet coming from the outside with the, with the huggy wipes, the sensitive ones, right? No fragrance, no nothing. It was easy to wipe. So you get the schmutz off of her yotzis. 
This time around, without Gia, there's still a little rough. So when you wipe it with the with the wipe, it's kind of tearing the wipe, and it makes it a little bit a lot harder to clean her paws. Listen, there's good and bad in everything. There's some, there's every, you know, this is groomers. There's different levels of everything. Some people take the extra time. Some people have taken their class on how to do the little shavy shave and the buffy buff. Not everybody's done it. Or some people get lazy. Maybe they don't feel like doing it. And I'm so worried about Bodie jumping into that van, the mobile groomer, and then out of the van with the shoulder. I got to keep an eye on her. I got to let him know, watch the leg, watch the this, watch the that, because we don't need Bodie having a re-injury. So wake up there, Billy Bob, Danny Frank. Let's buff the paws. Let's keep an eye on Bodie and make sure everything's good with her. That's number one. So listen, we're doing our thing over here. I'm so proud of the Miami Dolphins, by the way. 2-0. and If you didn't see the last game against the Ravens and that comeback, man, we got something going on this year. I'm from Miami, Florida. I'm a Miami Dolphin fan by default, even though I'm out here in Dallas. And hey, we go with the Cowboys every now and then. But, you know, at the core, at the core of my being, it's Dolphins all the way, baby. Okay? So... Off to a good start. I hope your team is doing well. And uh, that's kind of good. So what can I say also about um, the new place and the new vibe we got going on? We got the new gym. I even joined a second place. Check this out. If I've gone through stress, anxiety, depression at a high level for, for decades in my life, admittedly so, coming up on six years clean and sober, very proud of that. And, um, you know, that's just kind of where I'm at now. And I just decided to shut it down almost six years ago. Next month will be six years. And, you know, it's just better for me. I feel better. And those days are over. <laughs> it took me into my 50s. I didn't miss out on anything, believe me. But the point is, is that, um, you know, I decided you got to do things and replace the negative or replace that you, what you were getting, that endorphin release by going out and the drinking and whatever drugs or whatever you were doing, replace it with something equal that's going to crank up the endorphins in the same way, but something healthy, right? So the gym does that for me, you know, and if you don't, whatever, find whatever works for you. If it's riding your bike or whatever, meditation, walking your dog, you know, whatever, whatever you got to do, do it. But I had, I had one gym membership, right? And they have hours, you know, like uh, close at eight o'clock during the week. Saturdays are shutting down at seven on the weekends or Saturdays and Sundays. And you kind of run into a little bit of a, yeah, what if I had a place where I can go whenever I want? So anytime fitness was not too far from here. I decided to join Anytime Fitness now. So I go now to Anytime. I'll do a couple body parts there. I'll come downstairs, go to the Argentina coffee place and chill for a minute. Then I'll go across the street into the mall because they're very close to one another. Go to the other gym, do the same body parts but with a different atmosphere. It's just a cool vibe. It's like a little circuit. Do what you got to do to keep your head on straight. Do what you got to do to keep your brain dialed in so you don't anything but making the wrong choices. Anything from doing something unhealthy where you can just screw everything up all over again and go back to ground zero. We don't want to do that anymore. We want to stay positive and keep moving forward. Do your thing, do it responsibly, and this is no judgment for me over here. These are just choices that I made, and like I said, it took me into my 50s, and uh, I'm glad that I did. I just decided one day when I came home one time, and this is going on six years ago, I just said, I don't want to be buzzed anymore. So if I want to get buzzed, I'll hang around with Bodie and goof around with Bodie. If I want to get buzzed... I'll watch something on YouTube or a cool movie. I want to get buzzed now. I'll go for a walk around the neighborhood with Bodie or go to the gym. That's how I get buzzed and it does me a lot better. It's a lot healthier for me and you do you. But when it starts affecting your life, you might want to think about plugging something else in to replace it. It's easy to do. You just got to make a move, right? And that being said, who's the good girl? 
Good girl, Bodhi. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodhi. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodhi.com. 800-878-9698. Bodhi Hotline, Fun Line. Call the Bodhi Line. Say something nice to Bodhi. We're waiting for you. We'd love to hear from you. Say your name, where you're from. Listen, in the description below... Remember, you, we got laundry limo down there. You're in the DFW area. You want 10% off of your laundry. You want your laundry cleaner and smelling better than it's ever smelt. 48-hour turnaround time. All, and they also do dry cleaning. And I said 10% off. You say Dean Bodie. Their website and their link and their number is in the description below. There's also a donate channel. If you want to support the show, you can. Hey, do your thing, whatever. And all kinds of other links are on there, too. You want to watch previous YouTube channels. You want to check out the website. All those links are there. And, you know, DeanBody.com is the site. The links are on there. I want to get you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, remember, wherever you get your podcast, the other link will get you over to the YouTube channel, D-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show, YouTube channel. Hey, let's make it a great weekend. We are here for you, Dean Bodie. Man, it's good to be back doing this again. Hey, don't forget to leave the comments, click the like, click that notification bell. So you don't miss any of these episodes. We're going to be coming at you. This is Dean Bodie's show. Nothing else out there like it. You want to clear your head. You want to go around Goofy Lane, Crazy Street, make a right turn on Wacko Avenue, and hang out in Silly Wacky Park. That's where we are. That's where we like to hang out, have a few laughs, talk about whatever we want. Dean Bodie's show. Dean Bodie about our lives and our daily experiences and what's going on. Hopefully we make a connection here and, uh, you know, hey, share this link with a friend, share the show with a friend, pull over, put your headphones on, listen to the episode and do your thing and sing your zippity doo song with us. Have an awesome day. DeanBodie.com. Oh, yeah.